Halo gamers, gue Rifan Kit, host magang dari Dunia Games. Di beberapa waktu lalu, Dunia Games punya kesempatan untuk interview secara eksklusif dengan Riot Games mengenai LOL White Rift. Nah, pertanyaan kali ini adalah bagaimana sih LOL White Rift menghadapi para pemain yang sengaja melakukan pelanggaran seperti feeding atau AFK? Ini dia jawabannya. Yeah, we're um, so we're working on that now too. We actually have a lot of um, sophistication on this on the league PC side um, that we're looking to bring into Wild Rift, um, which is sort of like how, like automated AFK, like intentional AFK or or bad behavior detection. Um, it's a little bit tough right now, uh, and we are trying to find this balance between um, between overly punishing and overly lenient. Um, and I, I think you can expect us to take a little bit more time to figure it out. But I, I think that that once we finish solving this problem, I think it will be about as good as it can get. I think I think um, I think the set of um, the set of tools and technologies that we can bring to bear on this problem are really are are really special uh, and unique to League of Legends. And so I think we have. Uh, a lot of good capabilities here that we're excited to to, to start using in game. Uh, not not active yet, but will be soon. We do have some systems in place currently. Um, so, for example, like you know, we do have punishments in place for like people who are AFKing or you know who leave games, that kind of stuff for sure. Um, I think, as I alluded to, we do have a lot of expertise that we can rely on sort of across the organization and on different game teams. Um, we actually have a, a fairly new centralized team called Player Dynamics. Um, which is specifically focused on sort of like um, s like social interactions and like general everything that we would normally call sort of behavior, but also like but positive as well as negative, right? It's like how do we foster like good teamwork, good collaboration on top of just like punishing people who are doing bad things? Because a lot of times there are good players who get put in a situation where they just like they have to make a, like a poor decision. Right, and we want to basically be forgiving and tolerant, but also not allow that kind of behavior to, to happen. And it's one of those things where you know, league, league is a ten-year game, like eleven-year game now. Um, we expect Wild Rift to do the same. And it's one of those things where it's like we're always going to have to be listening. We're always going to have to be kind of learning and kind of iterating, like and working with the community to kind of help figure out what the right line is. Right, what is too harsh? What is too lenient? Right, and we'll have to kind of just like work with you, like with everybody. Because this is not just a Riot Games issue, right? This is a this is a whole community issue, and there's really no substitute to fix this than working together uh, and trying to figure out what the best solution is. Bila merangkum apa yang dikatakan oleh Brian dan Michael, sebenarnya Riot Games sudah membuat sebuah sistem pendeteksi otomatis untuk memberi pelajaran bagi para gamers yang nakal. Tapi mereka sedang kesulitan untuk menentukan bagaimana sih hukuman yang ringan dan hukuman yang berat. Jadi mereka sangat memerlukan sekali untuk kerjasama dengan para player untuk menentukan bagaimana sih hukuman yang tepat. Itu dia hasil interview eksklusif dari Dunia Games dan Riot Games. Jangan lupa untuk nonton video Dunia Games yang lainnya. Untuk kalian nih, nih perhatiin nih, untuk yang mau upgrade skin nih, daripada polos-polos aja gitu kan malu-maluin. Nah, mending kalian beli voucher gamesnya di duniagames.co.id karena di sana banyak diskon dan pastinya harganya lebih terjangkau. Banyak juga artikel-artikel menarik yang pastinya bikin skill main game kamu makin bertambah. Gua Rifan Kit. Adios gamers. <tuh>